So we're here at Intel's booth at CES in Las Vegas to talk with Rob Topol a little bit about holographic collaboration. This is a really interesting use case, Rob, because it seems to employ a lot of the major aspects of 5G, including ultra high speeds, but also ultra low latencies. Can you tell us a little bit about what's happening behind us here? Yeah, so Sean, this is really a great example of using um, a hologram, which many of us have probably seen use cases and, and, and cases of holograms being applied. This one takes it a bit further, where we essentially, with, in partnership with Mimesis and Ericsson and Intel, we're looking at ways to bring collaboration into that uh, hologram experience. And so what we're doing is we're using a 5G connection uh, using uh, working with Mimesis on a software stack that gives these users behind us the ability to collaboratively assemble something. And in this case, what they're doing is they're assembling a drone and they're taking different pieces to where they can essentially use a six degrees of, six degrees of freedom functionality and pick up those pieces and even collaborate where they can hand those pieces to each other and essentially work together on assembling something. So it's kind of a cool way of seeing the way that, as you said, 5G can bring low latency into the uh, use case, but also utilizing the broadband as well. And this is uh, another part of the edge story that's been so prominent here amongst the discussion with some of Intel's news items and demonstrations. AR and VR, they've been these concepts that have never really hit the mainstream because the connectivity just wasn't there, particularly in regard to wireless. But now as we see operators launch early commercial 5G networks with plans to scale out from there, it seems like it's ready for prime time. Yeah, at, at Intel we've always believed the computing capability is there and the performance we drive through our platforms, but now having a connectivity platform that essentially can match that, both with the multi-gigabit uh, speed connections, but now seeing latency in less than a few milliseconds, when bringing those two together, you have an example here where uh, a hologram can be used to essentially bring remote users close together in a collaborative environment. Now it, it essentially breaks down the walls of mobility and space and uh, displacement of where people are. And so let's maybe pull the lens back and, and take the paradigm and the technology that's on display here and as you said, it can have applications far beyond what we're seeing here. You could imagine this being used for manufacturing, but also totally reimagining the way that business travelers go about their workflow. Right, so as I said earlier, think of the main focus as being, how do I bring something that is remote or something that is isolated into more of a collaborative environment, where essentially the location where you are, you can be location agnostic. And that's the wonderful opportunity of what we're showing here. This is an early example where just seeing the collaboration between two people who might sit next to each other now, but this can easily be rendered where they are thousands of miles apart. The ability to bring them together um, is, first of all, a great consumer experience, whether it's about media or gaming or any type of interaction with uh, family members or others. But now upscaling that into an enterprise and an industrial environment where essentially it can be used for remote analysis, surveying, um, it can be used for um, essentially solving problems that, uh, uh, with two groups that maybe are quite a bit distance away. 5G will essentially be that connected fabric that brings them together. And it essentially brings a new level of the type of display resolution, the rendering, the, the, the real experience that's going to come through this type of use case over the next couple of years. So as 5G really comes to life and the uh, adoption base expands, what do you see as the adoption curve for enterprise and industry as it relates to this type of technology? Do you think that they will immediately recognize the value that that can bring to their organization? Or do you think there will be something of a learning curve? I think, I think they will immediately recognize it as we give them opportunities to field test, to trial the technology you know, in their facilities. Intel believes heavily in focusing on field testing, real world applications of new solutions like 5G. And so we would want to set up you know, the right use case partnerships, go into a real world industrial environment, a factory, into um, uh, any type of enterprise location, and essentially show how the technology can be used to either bring 
uh, reductions in cost of certain expenses that might be there to eliminate any type of redundancy. Um, we see tremendous productivity and efficiency that comes from these technologies, let alone just the excitement of the immersive opportunity that it brings. Well, Rob, it really is a compelling demonstration, and I really look forward to seeing how Intel and their partners bring this into the market and really drive change. I am too. I'm very excited for the opportunities that are ahead of us. Thank you, Rob. Thank you. Thank you.